Welcome, from is a Motorola One Action and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. And to get started, let's pull down the notification panel and look for the toggle. It looks like it is disabled by default, so let's tap on the pencil and add it on. So there it is, hotspot. Hold it, and drag it over and simply go back and there we go. So before you tap on it, hold it and this will take us to the settings where we can customize it. So let's go Wi-Fi hotspot and then let's start with advanced and change the password. So as you tap on it, you'll see that the one that is set by default is just some kind of randomly generated one. So we can remove it and set our own. It needs to have at least eight characters in length and then you can confirm it. Then you have things that you can change or keep it as they are. Um, for instance, like the hotspot name, uh, you can leave it if you don't mind it. Uh, it's just uh, what you're going to be looking for in the Wi-Fi list when you enable the hotspot. Um, hide my device, I strongly discourage you from enabling this. Uh, it will basically hide your Wi-Fi and you'll literally have to add it manually. Uh, so when you're in like the Wi-Fi list, uh, you have to go all the way down and then uh, add manually and then you type in the name of it and password and we'll start searching from there. Uh, then below that, uh, turn off hotspot automatically. Um, you can enable that, enable that or disable it depending on what your need is. Um, so once you once you're not using the hotspot, it will disconnect automatically after like five minutes or so. And below that we have the AP band. Uh, here I would advise you to try the five gigahertz one. Um, this will ensure that you have a better connection, stable and faster one. Um, but the downside is not every device supports it. So you can enable it. And if you, for instance, don't see your hotspot name in the Wi-Fi list, that means that your device that you're trying to connect to it uh, does not support the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band um, and all you need to do is just go back here and drop it to 2.4 but if it does then that's that and it will just work better than the 2.4 and I'll also mention that the 5 gigahertz whatever uh, the Wi-Fi band here is is something completely different than what you have uh, with the devices being 5G nowadays um, the 5G that in phones is strictly for uh, the cellular network while for the Wi-Fi uh, here it's just a kind of a different frequency um, so uh, phones without the 5G connectivity will still have the uh, 5G Wi-Fi um, so choose whichever one uh, you want which like I said I advise you to try the 5 gigahertz at least and from there you're basically set so you can leave this and all you need to do now is simply tap on the toggle itself to turn it on and off and yeah, that is basically how you would set it up and enable it. And if you found this very really helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.